Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Scorpio for love and relationship for April 2020. Scorpio, a new love or a renewed love? Beautiful. Dear Scorpio, it looks to me that you know you are establishing like you no know, really a good career on you, like you no know, money is really coming to you from every angle. Um for people like you know, who have business, it's really like you know, establishing a good business, a, a good money. Um work is going to be really very good for some of you. If you are looking for a new for a new job, you will get the job. Um, a new love for you in the horizon at this time, yes. Some of you that you are already in a relationship that you are getting a real commitment there. A commitment is really happening to you. You are overcoming obstacles and you are overcoming like you know, your emotions, like you know, some emotions that was really dumping on your energy before and now you start really to look up like you know, really more. You are more confident in it. Um, your person says here like you know, they value you. You are the best. You are doing like no really a lot of work and a lot of effort. Um, they are meeting you halfway. It seems to be that your person also connecting with you like no intimately with excitement and love and power. Like no, that excitement is really like no coming back more to you at this time. Before, like you know that, you you wanted love all the time, but you didn't you, you did not know how to work with the the person in relationship here. Like you are finding in the balance between you and your person at this time. Like you know, they want to connect with you. Like no more, uh, they are more happy with you. It looks to me like you know this uh, locking up. Uh, for a while, like you know, from uh, what happened with the virus, like you know, it did benefit a lot of people, like you know, to uh, spend more time with each other and understand each other more, and they are coming, like you know, for love again. Um, so we get something, like you know, really good out of it. Your person understands you, like you know, really more right now. They feel like you know, powerfully. They want to give you the commitment and the marriage. Someone who is proposing to you at this time also. Things are like no really flourishing. It's coming really like no more positive for you. Before it's kind of like you you felt like no you were kind of like no blocked from what you wanted, or you were blocking yourself like no from attaining your goal. You were holding back on speaking up. Like, you know, you wasn't speaking, you wasn't saying something, you were afraid to lose your person. And now you find yourself, like, you know, really establishing that connection. You are speaking up. You are much happier. You healed, like, you know, from the past and you stopped, like, you know, really, like, you know, being silent. Um, speaking, like, you know, about your emotions or feelings sometimes, it's not really something bad, but overdoing it is not good also. Showing your jealousy, like, you know, or your uh, hate and anger, like, you know, about other people in relation, like, you know, to your partner, it's not really a good thing either. Like, you know, now you know exactly what to say to your person, and it's really working very well. Your person is in need for you right now. They love you, and they want to stay really around you more. Now they are trying, like, you know, to express their feeling and open up, like, you know, more to you. Because your person was really like you know, closed off. They were holding back on any commitment and they wanted to take their time. Now I see your person doesn't really want to take time at all. They are more open with you. More open, more... It's like more honest. On the clear. And you said like, you know, I waited like you know, for this for some of you three years. Five years for some. A year. And really, just really happening at this time, it's kind of like this is fulfillment and love to you. 
Someone is finding the balance here, which is your person is coming, getting out of their shell again. Your person was closed off before, wasn't speaking, like, you know, wasn't really happy because they left a relationship and and it was really not their timing, like, you know, to open up. And now they are opening up, like, you no know, really more with you. Your person like to find out that you know they have to forget about the past and someone like you know, they were involved with or they were like you no know, really married to. So they left like you know, that really behind them and they stopped like you no know, being emotional or having any emotional attachment or in need for their exes. So it sounds to be that they are more opening up right now. Before you did not understand your person and you thought that they are dealing with a, a third party or somebody else. But it doesn't really seem to be. Your person like you used to go on parties or it looks to me like you know, that they were going on trips or parties before. And they drink their self out like you know because they were like you no know, sad about a situation from their past but now they are like you no know, letting go their emotions and feelings about that person letting go like you no know, even the co-independent on that other person emotionally or co-independent like you no know, materially too it's like he or she were in need like you no know, for their their uh, exes before about something but now they are like no leaving that coin dependent. Your person is holding on you at this time and they see the light like you no know, about freeing themselves like you know from someone from their past. I get that again. You have a good news really coming to you at this time. You still like not gonna be worried here and there. Before that you wanted to cut it off, you don't want it because your person wasn't committed and all kind of things. But now you are coming to your confident again because your person is returning to you with love at this time. Returning more. Someone is getting married. And I still see that marriage happening to you this year, dear Scorpio. Someone is getting married. You will have a future with your person. You wanted to rush like the things or situations before and the more like you tried harder, you get like you know, really stuck like you know, with the uh, drama or struggle or something like that. The rush like you, know, you were rushing to your person because you didn't know like you know, how to act or react because you don't want to lose your person and you kept really falling in obstacles and mistakes before. And because it wasn't the right timing for your person to let go of the past and now it is. Well dear Scorpio, you are going to be enjoying your your um, person like you know, from now on because I get here that you are more excited and happy your emotions like you no know, or like you no know, bad emotions have been really put on the side it sounds like you know, that you are really doing an effort with your person like you know, even like you, know, you are dressed up really nicely and you are um, dressed up like you know, for the night for your person also to be intimate and you are looking good and taking care like you no know, things as it was like you know, as a new relationship before in the past and this is really something very good for some of you they are establishing a new relationship at this time also this is someone different um, you have a new relationship that is going to be really growing more and more and I get here there is a lot of excitement and happiness you feel like you're know, connected with a new person like you know, on uh, spiritually materially and there is a, a very exciting energy 
you're going to be falling in love shortly with someone. And it's going to lead into a commitment. It could be like, you no know, a commitment next year. Some of you are going to be really married this year also. Dear Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading and thank you so much for watching. If you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. The link for my, my website is below this video and in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.